Alright, I'd like to thank everyone here yeah, for um, visiting um, 10th Year Ibis TV and that uh, it's gone on for two days already and it's actually gone well. I was able to show people um, some of um, me get play playing games and getting my ass kicked and stuff and also you know, w w watching family guy and stuff over that because the camera faces the TV and people can see what I'm playing, see what I'm watching and that so um, I guess it's all brilliant. I know people want me to write down times of when I'm going to be on, but I'm not really 100% sure on what times I always will be on, because I'm usually just going to be on when I'm just having a break. I'm usually busy throughout the whole day, and when I decide to have a break, you know what I mean? Cause I don't want to just tell you 4 o'clock tomorrow, and then 4 o'clock is when I'm very busy, or I'm going to be going out and doing something. So I don't want to say that, unfortunately. So I don't know what to say about that. So people can now see me live this way. Now let's talk about the event where people see me live in person. I'm waiting to tell you how Um This is about the event in um, February 21st. Playing arcades with 10th Year Ibis. Um, I've known some people have been speaking to me already. They've given me some messages. And it may be hard for them to come because they're living all the way in like Gloucestershire. Some of them live in like pretty far away and they still want to come. I don't know how can I help on that situation. Especially when some of the, some of you guys are younger than 16. So I don't know what to say. You know, it would be a lot of money to pay for the ticket to come. You know, and then the fact that you'd probably have to leave early because I said I said yeah that I was going to make the event yeah two o'clock two o'clock till whenever um, Chocadero closes which I would assume would be midnight but then I know you guys would have to leave way before that because the trains don't run that long and it takes time so you probably end up coming for about an hour or something anyway and you go so whoa this, so that's kind of a hit on a noggin if if you're a subscriber who lives in London, then that's fine. You have no problem. But it'd be sad that, you know, for the ones who want to come who lives from outside. Now, people are still wondering how to get there. I'm going to have to show you using a few maps. A couple of maps. Okay. Okay, just turn this annoying sound off. Now, this is a map you can't see. <laughs> hold it, let me um, hold it. Okay, here is the normal un London Underground tube map. Everyone knows, yeah, the people who live in London, that is, yeah, know clearly, should, well, should know clearly well about the. Um, different colours of each lines here, which one they represent. Now, I want to tell you where the Trocadero is. It's this station right here. Piccadilly Circus. You see it's on the dark blue and the brown. So, now, I live in Stratford, which is up here. So, if I was to go, I would take the red one all the way to Holborn because now you see the dark blue right? so I will change off there then take the train to here that's how you do it now if you live in London and you want to come to this event yeah, you surely must would live near any one of these tube stations you gotta find your way now as for people who live outside London I have a map to show you guys here this is the Great Brit Britain map, British map, yeah. I want to say, yeah. Now, if you live, let's say, around the top of England, like around here, look, look where my, my my mouse is circling. If you live around here, or if you live in Scotland, you want to come as well. Right? Now, this is where I'm circling. 
you're, po you're possibly going to get an overground train that's going to stop in London at po wait one second I'm just finding the underground map again at possibly this station down here which is called King's Cross and St Pancras you're probably going to stop at that station here and to get from here to Piccadilly Circus it's easy because it's on the blue line already it's on the Piccadilly line oh, it's not. it is it looks right here mum yeah but Euston Square isn't I'm not talking about Euston Square I'm, I'm talking about um, King's oh, Cross yeah, and yeah, Pancras yeah. right no, but Euston is not on the Piccadilly line, it's on the Northern no, line. No, I'm not talking about Euston, I'm talking about um, the King's Cross yeah, St. Pancras. Uh, I'll talk about Euston in a minute. Right? And um, you go down to, uh, to Piccadilly Circus. Now, as one was saying, another station here, what, where, if we know where I was circling, the train might stop at a station here called Euston. And if it does, then... No, sorry, it's here, Euston. If it does, what you may have to do is come onto this black line here, no, you see? the Victoria line. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, the Victoria line, that's better. There's this bright blue line here, which will come all the way down. To Green Park. Green Park, what about um, Oxford Circus, because they can just no, switch they over to the brown. Go, no, if they go to Green Park, all they got to do is one stop from Green Park to Piccadilly Circus. They're better off going to bring Green Park. Okay then, you heard it there from my mum. You come down here to Green Park. It'll be easier for them to change as well. Oxford okay. A bit, it's a bit, um, a bit of a busy station, so they're better off go into Green Park Station and then just a one stop from there. It's easier to Green Park than the Oxford Circus actually. Okay then. Now, there we go. Let's go back to that British map. Now I want to show you, if you guys live on this side, London's here, but let's imagine you live on this side, just like around this area of it. You probably could be living in Kent or Ipswich. You're possibly going to get onto a train that will stop at this station right where I'm just zooming I'm just zooming it in not Victoria? No, no, no not Victoria Liverpool Street now that's on that as I just showed you what I would do with Stratford it's already on the red line so you have to do the same thing what I will do and that is get off at Holborn and go back to the dark blue line which is the Piccadilly line and come to Piccadilly Circus. Alright. So that's where the people who live there. Now for the people who live underneath London. We're talking about around here. Right, yeah. We're now to... We're now... Um, you're, you're now probably going to um, get... To um, either two stations. One... Is, is this station down here it's called Waterloo now you got two choices actually actually no there's one choice yeah do yeah it's on the brown line remember I said yeah that Piccadilly Circus is on the brown line and the blue line so because Waterloo is on the brown line you can just take the brown line and just go straight there which is the Bakerloo line yeah the, that's what we need to call it the brown line is called the Bakerloo line and don't worry if you mess up these colours, yeah, because in the station itself, they have signs that have the colours on them, so you'll know. So, just keep listening to if you see where I'm, if I'm pointing to near where you live. Now, we'll go to either Wales or on the left side of England. Why are you doing all that? I've got, well, I've got to do this, if, if some, because some of them who live outside London want to come to this event, so I've got to tell them. Now, um... If you're living on this side of um, England, you you're probably going to end up at this station, I right? Think I'll go to Euston as well. I think on that side. Yeah, you could you could probably end up going to Euston, which I pointed at earlier, or you could go to this station right here. Which one is it's, that? it's called Paddington. Oh, Paddington. I forgot about that. Now Paddington, you're going to. Your, your hands are going to be easy as well because that, as you can see, it's joined here with the brown, with the brown line. I forgot it was to the brown line as it goes, so which means you can just go there and it'll take you straight to Piccadilly Circus. So, 
really. That's the easiest way I can explain it to you, right, yeah? If you're living outside London, you're bound to go onto a big overhead train that's going to take you to the following stations, Euston, King's Cross, St Pancras, um, Liverpool Street, Waterloo, Victoria, Paddington. You know, once you come off the once you come off those stations, you have to find your way to get to Piccadilly Circus. Right? Now when you get to Piccadilly Circus, you may be thinking, how far is the Trocadero from Piccadilly Circus? Well, P P Piccadilly Circus has four um entrances. Yeah, it's four entrances and one entrance leads directly into the Trocadero itself. And then once you're in once you're in there there's there's escalators there, and for you, you'll know. You need to tell them the exit, exit number four. All right, it's exit number four. You heard it from my mum right there. Exit number four. And they need to go up the stairs. They don't go. Um, they need to climb up the stairs, not to go into Drogadero from there. They might get lost. They need to climb up the stairs, come out of the station, and it's in front of them. They can't miss it. Okay. Because they come face to face with the sign that says Drogadero, and all they got to do is walk towards it, right to the main entrance. Okay. Right. Thanks very much, Mum. See, it's very lucky yeah, that my mum works in Piccadilly Circus. So, um, therefore, she was able to help out there. Now, um, so let's just run over it. Right? Remember, this is only for the people who don't know how to get to Trocadero. Because at the end of the day, most of the people don't even actually need a train to get to Trocadero. You can just take a bus. I could use a bus, but I'm, I'm not in the mood to wait for the long walk, so I'm going to take a train myself. But anyway, so let's run over it again. When you come out of Piccadilly Circus, you'll be coming up the escalator yeah, to come out of the station. You'll, there'll be a ticket barriers there. Once you put your ticket in, you go through the barrier. Keep your eyes to the left a bit because that's where exit 4 is. And then, remember there's a sign there, it will say Trocadero on it. Now keep walking down until you come to a door that says like London Trocadero on it. And, it, and you'll be able to come out that door and you'll be here um, in the street just opposite here the place you have a cross you can cross um great windmill street and then you go straight into it you'll see a big massive banner you can't miss it saying london trocadero on it but once you come in there you know you'll just be seeing everything the sweets and everything like here and then funland is is upstairs that's where all the arcades are going to be and stuff. So let's go back to what are we going to do at um, Trocadero. We'll be playing arcades. There's all arcades around there, yeah. I'm sure there's all different types of games that everyone's into. You've got the beat em up games there, in fact, yeah. We'll play some Tekken 6 there. And they have um, those are arcades like racing ones and stuff. So I reckon we could all have some fun there. If everyone ships in together, we could have a good game of bowling because they even have a bowling alley there. And as I said, already sweet shops and everything like they got some really, really nice, brilliant sweets. I love candy floss. So I know I'll be having some on that day. So um now for the people who'll be able to make it no problem, just come. For the people who's out of London, if this explanation here was a bit too hard to understand still then I'll try and make another video and try and be a bit more, I don't know, I, I feel I, I, I felt more clear as much as I could get really. So far I know I only have two confirmed people, they live in London. So, um, <laughs> but as said already, if you can't make it, I understand. I, you know, I'm not forcing everyone to come. You know, so if you won't be able to make it, it's understandable. If you can make it, then enjoy it enjoy everything you know what I mean because I hope to enjoy it I hope this will be a good event so um, that's definitely all I need to say so if people still got some things they want to say yeah private give me a private message and um, we'll talk about our problems maybe um, I could give um, the message of the other guys who live in London as well maybe they'll be able to help out because they know about it as well so um, that's all I've got to say guys, so thanks very much and um, hope to see you there, I'll see you all later, love who you are.